Hello, YouTube. We're back uh, in the novelist. Um, so let's uh, let's just look at what the story is so far. As a recap, when the captain's arrived and Dan was struggling with the writer's block, he put his book aside for one night to have a bottle of wine and relax with his wife, but also found his notebook in time to send Paul an outline. When Linda and Tommy had a surprise had surprise visitors the same weekend. Oh. Uh that Dan's friend was visiting. I don't hmm. Alright, well. Folks. A friend of Dan's was uh, oh was coming to visit. Oh man. You didn't get to see the rest of that. Alright. <laughs> Can't figure out some of the words in my book. We should help him. Oh shit! <laughs> Almost got caught. Uh, he has to learn uh, about grunter problems at some point. You're a dick. Good news. Mom called today with a change of plans. They made better time on the first leg of the trip than they expected, and they're coming to visit. Bad news. They want to come this weekend. Did Dan tell Tynan they could stay here for sure, or is that still up in the air? I'll ask after dinner. She sounded cheerful enough on the phone, though I can't help wondering if they took this trip because they hit another rough patch. I hope not. I hope they just want to see Tommy and have a classic Mears family feast. Though, maybe seeing how they've ended up will be good perspective for Dan and me. Speaking of which, Dad better not get nosy. I've told him a million times that my marriage is not his business. Maybe I'll try the thing Christine told me. When someone asks you something private, just say, why do you ask? Put it back on them and see if they've actually got a reason to get into your business. Yeah, I've got to remember to try that. We'll see how he answers that one. Good for you. All right. Wait, what's this? Explore. What is it? What does it say? Explore memories. He gets the best. What about Tommy? Yeah. What about Tommy? Oh. I just mailed the package to Paul and I might have dodged the bullet. I was most of the way through writing some pretty embarrassing stuff. Alice eavesdropping on a phone call to give one particularly ugly example. When I decided to look for my notebook one more time, Maybe it was desperation, but something just told me to try it. I lucked out and found it this time and almost sprinted back to the office to see how much I could repair. I didn't have time to rework at all, but I sent Paul a good outline with the chapters I did have. I hope it works. Woo! Man, skin tense. All right. Exit memory. I took Tynan up on the book jam. He hasn't seen a word of my new book, and fresh eyes are priceless. He bailed me out on Tramer's way. I hope he understands how much of that book worked because of him. I still remember when we were walking to the pond, and he had the idea about using newspaper clips and police reports. Of course, no matter how many times I tell interviewers it was his idea, they just keep giving me the credit. Maybe they just want the tidy auteur version. Oh well, can't change that. Let's just hope he has an idea for this one too. Freddy can't get here soon enough. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh, is that a magazine? Oh, secret mo- ah! Oh. Okay. Hope they're okay. What does it say? New day. I can write my way back into this thing. One's 45 minutes away. Closest one's 45 minutes- Ooh. Closest what?
like old times. No. Bo. Bo. What about Tommy? He can sleep with us. I'm already. Uh, I already did this memory. Look in the bathroom. Oh, hoo, hoo. that must be a vampire. I can't see my body. Oh, there you are. Davy can bring over his jet. Oh, that's cute. Can Davy sleep over? Let me call his mom. Check sofa, call chamber of commerce, hotels in town? Double check. T what does that say? Tack? I thought Tommy was sleeping with us. I'm checking to see if this is a folder. Oh. I knew we should have eaten something with that wine last night. My head is killing me. It was totally worth it, though. We put on some music and hung out Yay. on the couch, all covered up like we were freshmen again. He didn't talk about his book once. We got a little too into a discussion about whose favorite band from college was still the best, and we accidentally woke Tommy up. We got him settled back down and decided to call it a night, too. Well, except for... I better not write about that part. Oh. Oh, it's sexy time. Uh, exit Lena Rose, then read her thoughts to see what she says. She runs. Okay. Come on. Wash that ugly sweater mom and dad gave me so they can see me wearing it. Okay. Mm, alright. Been a while. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I already got this one. Maybe Tommy wants something now. Good news. Mom I already read that. Um I'm sorry it's been so long since my last letter, but we've all been all over the place. You've, uh, have you gotten settled into the big house yet? I hope getting away from everything has been, uh, a help for you and Dan. But, uh, I'm writing because, speaking of getting away, your, uh, your father and I are going to take a good, tr uh, uh, what does it say? A road trip. I found some good AARP deals. Uh, with your father only working part time, it wasn't very ba hard to change time uh, to arrange time off. It's been too long since our last trip. I've always want, uh, I've always enjoyed changes of scenery. And as your, oh wow, um. I've always enjoyed changes of scenery, and as you're hopefully um, learning, it can be just the thing a marriage needs. Uh, Lord knows it's helped us. The trip won't take us to close enough to the to, to the shore to come visit. I'm sorry to say, and if you write, be write back, we'll be gone before your letter arrives. 
We'll call it one of our uh, motels. Um, we'll call if one of our motels has long distance. But if we don't get a chance to call, send my uh, send my love to Dan and Thomas. Uh, you know your letter. Your father and I won't uh, want the best for you all. Okay. Well, nothing there. Tommy. Stay up late. Yeah, you do it, kid. Why didn't Daddy play Racing Roger with me? TV said it's all westerns on today. Ooh. Fun. Alright. What's this? Uh, guy probably not expecting to hear from me, were you? You know, I'm all about surprises. Look, we're gonna head up the coast next weekend. We're doing, uh, doing the drive. We don't need to read that. Oh, maybe we did. Alright, well. Damn! It's going good. Uh, check the fishing poles. Maybe we could find a pond. Alright. He wants fishing poles. He wants his poppy. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Pump. Pumpkin! Go one up the stairs. All right. Uh, I feel like there's something that I need to be doing here. Okay. Oops. Come on. Hey. Hey. Oi. Can Davy sleep over? Let me call his mom. So I did do that. What am I looking for? Read thoughts. Daddy can bring over. Davy can bring over his jet. Let's look at that. Alright. Read Tommy's thoughts. And you can use the blue sheets to make a sofa fort. I like his idea. Um, let's see. What was what was his thoughts? Do I have all of them? Fishing poles, blue sheets, and wherever the mom is, she wants the sweater. Where is everybody? My goodness, it's impossible to find anyone. Jesus. Wood. Um... Reservations for I hope we can find a babysitter. I feel like it should be giving me the prompt soon. I took time in up on the book jam. He hasn't seen a word of my new book, and fresh eyes are priceless. He bailed me out on Tramer's way. Okay.
Good news, Mom. How do I? I'm stuck. All right. Hmm. Okay, so I think until I can figure it, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I um, figured it out. I'm choosing Tommy's decision. They're gonna make a um, you choose Tommy's outcome and finish the chapter, and then I gotta I gotta compromise up because I think I discovered the other two people. So let's see. Oof. Okay, explore that and whisper your cha your choice to Dan. You may also find compromises a compromise with an additional character if you wish. Okay. Where are the fishing poles? From the desk of Harold Baxter, 7 January 17th, 1948. I'm now certain there's something strange with the light here. It must be those windows. I was reviewing old deeds in the living area and saw some sort of flash of light out of the corner of my eye. I would assume the elevation would have put the ocean too far away for the sun to reflect off a wave, but perhaps not. I looked to the but there was nothing there except a strange shimmer, like heat above the asphalt of a hot road. It dispel it dis blah, 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 blah. it dissipated almost immediately. Perhaps some concentration of the light caused it. But on the work, on to work, I've begun cataloging possible options for the property. I owe Mr. Lowry a report by the... What does that say? By the 24th. Aye! So... Ah, so here are fishing poles. So I did dan I, I have to... Okay. Should I do mmm? Play cowboys, let's see. I need to find that ugly sweater. Hmm. From the desk of Harold Baxter, January 19th, 1948. I failed to log my activities yesterday, as nothing of note occurred. There have been no tricks of the light for two days. And I've grown certain that the ones I saw were reflections from the ocean, improbably reaching the house. I have been able to focus on the task at hand, and I'm suitably pleased with the condition of the property. I have also reached a decision on how to proceed. It came to me this morning, as I stood in the conservatory admiring the beauty of the forest. I hadn't begun my work. And it was thinking of uh, it was thinking of nothing in particular when an idea came t into my head, fully formed. I was supposed to. Uh, it was I was surprised that it appeared with such clarity, but it's not unheard of for the mind to ponder a question in the subconscious. As for the idea, it is quite simple. I will buy the house myself. That's a good idea, Mister Harold Baxter. Harold Baxter. Oh, here's the sweater. Uh, select. Now whisper it into Dan's ear. Alright, 
Dan knew how important it was for Tommy to play with friends his age. So he grabbed the sheets and gave Tommy a few tips on the finer points of structural engineering. <laughs> when Davy came over, the two boys stayed up watching TV and eating ice cream. Blah 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 blah. blah. Ninda was glad they were able to make room for everyone, but with so much going on in the house, she didn't get as much time as she would have liked to visit her parents. They were glad to come at her all, though Linda didn't get a chance to pull her mother aside and see how her parents were doing. And then the hated Dan hated missing the chance to get feedback on his book, and he found the company distract. Uh, he tried to work through the commotion. But he never got into the rhythm. He couldn't have uh, focused long enough to small corrections and study except the role of. Oh, fuck. Missed that. Okay. Well, uh, that was a fun chapter, wasn't it? So, I will leave you guys off. Year, and I'll see you uh, next week. Or, yeah. Well, I'll see you guys. See you guys soon.